Hello Earth Signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Welcome to your reading. We're going to be focusing on the real truth about your connection for each sign. So I'm going to do some messages for Virgo, for Capricorn, and Taurus separately. I was not originally intending it to turn out that way, but it ended up starting off that way with my air sign. So I'm just going to continue with that format for the rest of the elements here. So it is general as always, guys. It's not going to resonate with every single person. Please do take from it as always what makes sense for you. Release the rest. And if you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box. And of course, I'll include a link to all of the decks and creators that you see here today. Cross watchers, absolutely welcome. So let's begin starting things off with Virgo. And then we'll go ahead and grab cards for Capricorn and Taurus. So I'm just going to go down the line for each sign as the reading unfolds. All right, guys, so starting things off with the heart and soul love Oracle, and then we'll grab cards from my He Said, She Said Oracle deck. All right, Virgo, so you're up first. What's the real truth about your connection? Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. Okay, I'm guided to this one. We have timing. You know, it's interesting. I did the air signs reading. I believe this came up for Gemini. So some of you guys might be focused on a Gemini specifically. Um, but this is a card of timing. And it goes on to say, life is so simple for some people. They meet someone, they fall in love, get married, and live happily ever after. With us, it wasn't as simple. We met, we became friends, and more than friends. But life had other plans, other commitments, other obligations. It wasn't our time. Perhaps in our next lifetime it will be. So this is somebody that you feel a very strong bond and connection with. Because if you take a look at that photo, you know, it's a bride and a groom. And they're celebrating this connection and even a potential marriage here. But for some of you guys, maybe there's somebody that you're, you're focused on for this reading that you're not going to be able to experience that with in this lifetime because either the timing is off, as it says, or there are particular obstacles that are standing in the way of the two of you coming together. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a card for Capricorn here. We have Love Notes. Okay, that's a great card. I love you, I love you, I love you. So whoever it is that you're thinking about for this reading, there's a lot of love there. This could even be an actual literal love note. Maybe you guys love to exchange love notes between the two of you. Of course, in today's world, these love notes could be a text or an email or even reaching out on social media. It doesn't have to be an actual note. Okay, so let's grab a card for Taurus now. So Taurus, we have the end. This card reads, I've tried to convince you that love was worth a shot, that you and I are so incredibly compatible. We're a perfect match. I've tried to make you see that I'll be here for you through thick and thin, that no matter what life hands us, we can make it through. But I can't keep trying for both of us. I guess we've reached the end of the road. So either you have had... This could be a recent breakup or a breakup from long ago where you put in all the effort and the other person just wasn't putting in th their effort towards the partnership. And therefore, that created a very lopsided energy in your relationship that caused it to end. Okay, so if you're watching this and if you're contemplating ending a partnership because they're not putting in the effort or they're just not helping you towards whatever issues you guys have going on in the relationship, you might be contemplating finally closing that chapter of your life. All right, we're going to have to pull the rest of the cards, of course, to see what is going to come through here. So we'll go ahead and grab a card for each sign starting off with Virgo once again from the He Said, She Said Oracle. So this deck contains two messages, one for the masculine, one for the feminine. All right, so I'm guided to this one for Virgo. He said, this is not working. She said, that's because you stopped working on our relationship. I can't do this alone. That's interesting because obviously this would have been a message that would be very fitting for the car that came through for Taurus. But this is coming through for Virgo. So, you know, there's something about this timing situation as to why it's not working also. And the masculine stopped working and putting an effort towards this partnership. Maybe because the masculine realized that there were just too many obstacles as far as the timing 
and obstacles that were just getting in the way, some challenges that you guys have had to deal with. So we're going to dig a little bit deeper as to what that's about. All right, Capricorn. He said, I will never find another like you. She said, that's because I'm a one of a kind. Okay, so my feminines, you are recognizing that you're one of a kind and this masculine also on the same page as you, they're knowing it's like they're never going to find anyone that compares to you. And ultimately, the love is here. You guys love each other. All right, let's grab one for Taurus. He said, do you have any idea how much you mean to me? She said, I do now. So that's an interesting message coming through considering we have a possibility that a relationship ended because one of you guys wasn't putting in the effort towards the partnership. So this could have all been in hindsight that they now realize how much you mean to them only after a breakup, only after things ended and fizzled between the two of you. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some additional cards here. So we're going to start things off with this deck by Fire Witch Tarot, The Truth Rising. We are focusing on the real truth for your connection. All right, so Virgo, what else do you need to know when it comes to this connection? Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Virgo. So something's not working. The timing is off. What else when it comes to the real truth of this connection right now? War-minded militant, okay? For some of you, you might have had a partner who was in the military. That could certainly be a part of this energy. Maybe they were a part of the military during wartime. That could certainly apply. But this could also be that maybe the two of you weren't seeing eye to eye and you guys were at war with each other. Maybe you guys were arguing, just feeling that there was something here that wasn't working because you guys stopped putting in the effort towards the partnership. That seems to be a very common theme for Virgo and Taurus coming through here. Let's grab another card here for you, Virgo. And in order for you guys to make this work, you got to work together. We have psycho here. <laughs> so we've got someone who's war-minded and militant and psycho. And obviously we've got a male figure in both of these photos here. So it could have been the masculine that turned into this psycho energy. And maybe they just weren't thinking right after a while. Or because things went the way it did that, you know, they were just driving themselves crazy. We've got hustler, always hustling and knows how to get what they want. Okay, so if that applies for your person, Virgo, I mean, that's, there's nothing wrong with being a hustler as far as going after what it is that you want, but it has to be done with the right frame of mind. And then we've got karma, yours, theirs, time has come, your or their time has come. So karma is going to be doing its thing no matter what, whether that karma is a good thing or a bad thing. And if somebody ended up hurting you, Virgo, they might just be on the receiving end of that karma. All right. So let's go ahead and grab some cards for Capricorn. So some challenges presenting itself here, Virgo, for this connection right now. Capricorn, what do we have? Very disrespectful. Okay. So maybe they disrespected you somehow. That could have been a challenge as well for your partnership and that could explain why there are all of these love notes that could be their way of apologizing of reaching out making amends realizing especially for the feminine that you are one of a kind they are planning a secret escape so what i get from this is if they did disrespect you you guys had an argument maybe they're trying to again reach out through text email phone call social media to first of all make amends but if they're planning this secret escape obviously they're not sharing that with you you guys could have also shared a past life together capricorn and maybe when you guys first connected in this lifetime there was that instant attraction, perhaps. All right, let me grab one more card. So you each have four cards. 
Ooh, there's a lot of karma coming through here. We've got dangerous karmic ties. All right, so past life karma, dangerous karmic ties. So there could have been some unfinished business in a past life for some of you guys as well. Reconnecting in this lifetime to hopefully tie up those loose ends. So even though you love each other, there are some challenges presenting itself here. All right, for you, Taurus, what do you have here? All right, for Taurus... We've got bad deals coming through here, all right? So you got to be mindful of what people are offering you because not every offer, certainly when it comes to love and romance, will be a good one. Let's see what else. Preparing for what's to come. This could be you. This could certainly be the feminines here. We've got female figures coming through from both of these cards. So you might have had to end a situation, but you're now focused on you and your healing and preparing for perhaps what the future has in store for you, which ultimately could be a better situation, a better partner that's way better suited for you. What else for Taurus? We do have materialistic. Okay, some of you guys could have been dealing with somebody that was coming through with this type of vibe where they were all about what you guys had together, possession wise, the again, materialistic energy coming through there. And there's nothing wrong with wanting the finer things in life. But if that's all that they're focused on, that could have been a problem and an issue. And then you've got this card, love interest, angry person, new love. So, you know, if somebody has anger issues here, that could have been why you ended things. But this could also represent a new love that's coming in. They're coming in fast and furious, you know. So it really depends on how it plays out in your life here. All right, so let's go ahead and add some additional insight here from the Twin Flame Untold Truths deck. This is by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. So we're back to Virgo. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. What else do we need to know? So timing is a very crucial issue for this connection. And karma is on its way. So again, if, if they did something to hurt you, you know, we've got someone who's in this warm-minded energy. They're a psycho. And maybe their hustle was all about themselves and not so much the connection here. That could also be contributing why things are not working. For Virgo. Hidden emotions. Okay, they weren't fully open and honest with you. They were hiding how they were feeling as well. So look at this. You're being directed to free yourself. And maybe at this point, Virgo, you already have. You already have freed yourself from somebody like that. And at one point in time, maybe you really did picture a life with them by way of getting married and being able to have this person as a life partner. But then especially the masculine here, they stopped working on the partnership and they were just directing all of their energies and time towards themselves. And that ultimately is not going to work. And then bottom of the deck here, we do have separation here. So you freed yourself from this person, which created that separation. All right, so Capricorn, what's up? So for Capricorn, we've got bad time. Player tendencies, okay? So if you've been dealing with a player here, Capricorn, then some of these love notes, you know, maybe you're not the only one who is receiving these love notes, especially if they are focusing on more than one person here. Interested. Let me see. Bottom of the deck for Capricorn is not interested. So this is what I'm getting for you guys. If you were dealing with a player, you might have finally decided it's like, okay, this is not the one for me. I'm going to go in a different direction. And it could have been you that lost interest because you realized that you were not the only one that they were spending time with. That could also be past energies here. 
okay? Because we do have this message here, I will never find another like you. And maybe they tried to find someone else that was what they thought could be a better situation. The whole grass is greener mentality and they didn't find it. All right, for Taurus, what's coming through? Looking at your pictures, okay? So whatever pictures you guys had together or of you that you've sent them, they're definitely looking at that, feeling nostalgic, remembering the good times. You could be doing that as well. What else for Taurus? It's a tough situation. So maybe you feel like you're caught in the middle. And again, we've got bad deals coming through here. You might have had somebody who had anger issues. So yeah, it's a tough situation, especially when you still have love for somebody like that. And bottom of the deck is fear. So for some of you guys, maybe you want to end something, a situation with someone that you know is no longer someone that should be a part of your life but maybe you're afraid to end it or maybe they are okay so there's fear wrapped up into this energy when it comes to your connection with this person taurus all right guys so let's go ahead and grab some tarot here so some challenging energy is presenting itself for earth signs this time but sometimes you have to go through moments like this in order to get to something better, either with the person that you're thinking of or a new love interest, somebody that's way better suited for you. All right, Virgo, what else do we need to know here? So you guys are in separation. You had to free yourself from this person. Something wasn't working. Now, this is interesting with that magician. Because this is manifestation of your ideal partner, your soulmate. This represents a positive outcome and a rekindled romance. So going back to this message, this is not working. He said this is not working. She said that's because you stopped working on our relationship. I can't do this alone. So part of this manifestation could be that they're ready to put in the work now. And then we've got the six of swords here. So both of these cards represent air energy. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, you guys are heading towards calmer waters, you know, away from this war-minded type energy. This is a card of healing. You guys are releasing the baggage of what was not working. It's a transition. You guys are leaving the past and all of that drama behind you. So that's actually a good thing. That's much needed here much needed virgo so this might actually somehow work itself out it's one of those things where you had to let it go and if it's meant for you it's going to come back it might just come back okay so capricorn let's take a look and see what's up with your situation here okay so we've got the ton of swords which does represent backstabbing betrayal a very painful ending between you and a particular person here we've got eight of swords ten of swords both air energy again so libra aquarius gemini you might have felt trapped in a situation where you are no longer happy especially if they were being a player here. So it kind of makes sense for me if you're no longer interested in somebody like that, regardless of them telling you, I love you, I want to try to work this out. But, you know, the Eight of Swords, it's you're paralyzed by your fears, your anxieties, and this could all be in your head as well, you know. But at the end of the day, that Ten of Swords, you can't ignore that one. It's a very painful energy but the bottom of the deck for you capricorn is the ace of pentacles so you might have had a very painful breakup with that ace of pentacles though there's abundance and manifestation that comes along with that which offers you stability in your life money matters looking up as well so one situation you might have had to close the door on one chapter of your life in order to get here so one door closes, another one opens. That might lead you down a road that's way better suited for you. 
okay so even though somebody had to leave your life there's something someone that will come in to offer you this solid offer of that ace of pentacles bringing in that security and stability that might even lead towards marriage okay so taurus let's grab some cards for you We've got the Knight of Swords. So we've got lots of air energy coming through here for all the Earth signs. So the Knight of Swords is actually someone who's very action-oriented. Okay. So this person might come in to save the day. Taurus, you might have had to end a situation with somebody that just wasn't right for you. And remember this energy right here. They're coming. Love interest. New love. So don't be afraid of what the future has in store for you. And then we've got the judgment card right there. So you have to go through your own awakening, perhaps, that reincarnation and redemption, and go through this transition, okay? And sometimes when we don't have closure with people, you just have to be able to find forgiveness in your heart so that you can move on. It is a gift that you do offer yourself so that you're not holding on to past baggage. Now, the interesting thing about the judgment card is Whoever it is that you ended a situation with, they might finally get that wake-up call and realize that they need you in their life, that they still want to be a part of your life. So they might ultimately reach out and want your forgiveness and want a reconciliation. And bottom of the deck for Taurus is the Three of Wands. For some of you guys, maybe your person could be a fire sign here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this is all about looking ahead towards the future and perhaps creating a much happier future for yourself. This could also represent a long distance romance for some of you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some additional insight from the Silhouettes deck. Starting with you again, Virgo, let's take a look and see. What's the message here? So you had to let them go, but there might be a chance for a rekindled partnership here. Yeah, no doubt you guys have been through something tumultuous, which is why you freed yourself from it. But here's what keeps you guys drawn back to each other is this intensity. I can no longer ignore this magnetic pull between us. And lastly, we do have infinity, us forever. Okay, so they weren't putting in the effort before, but they maybe had to lose you in order for them to realize that if they want you back in their life, they're going to have to put in the effort. They're going to have to put in the work to repair the damage that they could have caused in this partnership. So there's healing here. There is an opportunity to rekindle this. All right, so for Capricorn. Capricorn. We've got color lines. True love has no barrier. Absolutely. You know, so regardless of ethnicities and differences that you guys have together, as long as you just see yourselves for who you are and the love that you do share between the two of you, there is the opportunity for a new beginning here. The desire is still here as well. Drool, I can barely contain my desire for you. When you're within reach, you're my ultimate craving, and I can't imagine letting another second go by without tasting you. All right, so the desire, the love, still here. And lastly, we've got love blooms. This is representing the springtime, so we are in March already. March, April, May. This is specifically for Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. So your person could be any of those signs, but it could be any sign, really. So there's still a potential here, guys, that love can still bloom regardless of the painful ending that you have endured in a partnership. All right, so lastly, Taurus. Mine, okay? So somebody still wants you. They want you, you want them. The sexual appetite is still here. It's just a matter of time before we cave into this intense hunger. Okay, so the desire, the intensity of the physical aspect of this connection, that's still coming through here. 
and we have climb. The daily grind won't stop until you manifest that dream. So this applies to every aspect of your life, Taurus, not just necessarily your love connection. It could apply to your career, personal goals and dreams that you might have in your life at this time. All right, guys, so wrapping it up with final messages from my heart space oracle. So let's grab a card for each sign. So Virgo, yours started off really challenging, but it seems to have ended on a much more positive note, which is nice. Actually, all of these readings ended up on a positive note, so that's good. We had to kind of go through the challenging messages in order to get to the positive. A message for Virgo. You're my dream come true. Okay, so rekindled romance. We can finally maybe get the timing right when it comes to this relationship. A message for Capricorn. There's lust and there's love. Let's combine the two and just make love. So yeah, that's coming through here. The, um, the sexual chemistry between the two of you. That's coming through here. All right, and lastly, let's go ahead and grab a card for Taurus. So for some of you guys, this is coming through. We're star-crossed lovers. Why can't the stars just mind its own business and let us be together? Damn. You know, so that to me reminds me of the challenges that you guys have definitely encountered in this partnership. But if you guys put in the effort to make this happen, regardless of how the stars are aligning, you guys can make this work, you know, so just continue to focus on looking ahead towards the future and putting in the work together. And you guys can ultimately get to a point in this connection where you're happy and looking forward to a much better future together. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, definitely some challenging messages that came through here, but ultimately there's a possibility that you guys can make these situations work out in your individual relationship. All right, guys, so that's it for now. If you're interested in your own reading, that information is down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.